vision is to be the best owner, manager and developer of retail property within Europe. This requires us to be the very best and top of our game at generating value for all of our stakeholders by creating and managing more sustainable properties. In effect, creating positive places. Positive Places is our sustainability framework. It was designed to enable us to identify who our key stakeholders are. These are our investors, our customers, our suppliers, our employees and our communities. And enables us to really focus our activities on making sure they are aligned with what's relevant for those groups. Our company values are ambition, respect, collaboration and responsibility. And sustainability is core to delivering these. Well, we're now moving out of a recession and what we're seeing amongst our customer and retail groups is an improvement in confidence. That in itself is now leading to us expanding our major development pipeline. We've seen start on sites in Leeds and before long we will be on site in Croydon and Brent Cross. Hamilton has made some significant achievements in terms of sustainability. It's been a leader in this area for a number of years. Some of our shopping centres are the most sustainable in the sector. But we can always do more. This year we are going to be focusing more on development activity. We will still be looking to make sure our existing centres are operating as efficiently as possible. But there are a number of other areas of activity that we want to look at. We will be focusing on our supply chain. So we'll be doing more work with the suppliers. We'll be publishing another annual supply chain survey towards the end of the year. We want to do more research. We want to focus on our retail part portfolio and look at the impacts social impacts as well as environmental impacts that our retail part portfolio has and we've got major developments that are happening in our French portfolio and we're looking to make sure that they are equally sustainable. As we take on these opportunities we also take on a responsibility, a responsibility to make sure their impact is positive over the whole lifetime of an asset, a responsibility to our employees and our investors to ensure we manage risk and provide sustainable returns and also to create a great place to work where employees feel inspired and supported. We are currently building assets that we would expect to be within the landscape for 50 plus years and beyond. So we are having to work out how they are going to respond to changes in technology, changes in, in the environment, environmental leg legislation and in climate and that's, that's very challenging. We also have to work out how those centres are going to respond to changes in, in society and, and, and how people are going to be shopping over the, over the next 50 years. Those are all major things that we have to think about. Um, and as a sustainability team, um, we have to support our development teams and our project management teams in being able to make sure that we design centres that, that really can be run as efficiently as possible. Our investor stakeholders benefit from our ability to create resilient portfolios with strong and consistent returns. We capitalise on opportunities to lead and we drive value by creating desirable, sustainable places. Transparency in our reporting demonstrates our comprehensive and capable risk management. Our performance against our CR targets was mixed in 2013. We had some notable successes exceeding our water reduction targets in France and our waste targets in our UK portfolio. And seeing Westkey achieve best in class for their environmental performance in the Better Buildings Partnership benchmark, helping us lead the way in this area. We also exceeded our supply chain engagement targets and we focused heavily on collaboration and the results that it can deliver. As we look across our portfolio, our worst performing centre is still performing well according to the Better Buildings Partnership benchmarking for the sector. However, it is a priority for us to grow our leadership role, ensuring we excel across the whole portfolio. Carbon reduction is heading in the right direction. After a slight slowdown in progress, due in part to the changing focus of our business from office and retail to purely retail, the hurdle has been raised. Nevertheless, we are confident we'll see continued strong reductions by the end of 2015. Our priority here is to install LED lighting at Bullring. If our biggest centre was as energy efficient as our most efficient one today, 153,000 tonnes of carbon would be saved over the next 50 years. That's more than four times the emissions of the whole of our business in 2013. 
and that is just one shopping centre. So we're working hard to improve energy efficiency in our current portfolio and to make sure our new centres can perform even better than the best of our current centres over their whole lifetime. Other areas have been more challenging. Retailer engagement remains a difficult nut to crack, but with our positive growth awards and other joint initiatives being developed across the company, we hope to see continued improvement here. A key part of being ambitious is to look beyond the traditional model and for us that means evolving our role in response to the changing world around us. We're in a unique position to reach out to an audience of literally millions of people. We want to use the powerful platform we have to highlight to shoppers their ability to drive change with the decisions they make every day. Big Positive is our first major consumer facing sustainability event. The idea is that we will inspire actions amongst our consumers to make them think about what they can do to be more sustainable. It's about trying to make people think about sustainability as a positive thing, not about what they have to do less of, but what they can do more of. It's going to run across nine of our shopping centres, from starting at West Quay and finishing in Aberdeen at Union Square. We want to inspire 200,000 positive actions across the period of the roadshow which is running across nine weekends this summer. Hammerson is completely committed to making sure that its shopping centres and retail parks, both here and in France, are as sustainable as we can make them. We can't be an ambitious property company without pushing the boundaries around sustainability. This means not only aiming to set industry precedents with regards to those impacts that are tightly regulated, but also exploring our potential to drive change in other ways. We want to create welcoming, green places for our communities, successful, sustainable stores for our retailers and ambitious, lasting relationships with our suppliers. Our employees are creating a company of proud and active placemakers and for our investors this all adds up to stronger, more consistent returns. We won't always get it 100% right, but not to try is to get it 100% wrong. <laughs>